Yeah? Yeah. Uh, okay then, my number one, the game I played the most at Gamescom is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on Xbox One. Yep. Hmm. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, I was at the um, the multiplayer reveal thing from Monday. Uh, we got a chance to play, I think, about four matches at the end of that. And then on Wednesday, I was at another event in the Gamescom in the in the hall itself. Uh, on their stand where I probably play it. Yeah, I think I played another four or five matches. So a good, good chunk of time playing the game. I guess um, I'll break it down from the beginning. You, in Advanced Warfare, you have uh, a thing called an exosuit, which um, is from the single player, but it's also a key component in the multiplayer. It basically allows your soldier to double jump and to kind of dash left and right and then mid-air dash as well. And it is a pretty cool uh, new way of playing Call of Duty. It definitely makes the game feel different to how it's felt before, but it still retains a lot of that core Call of Duty Christmas in the shooting. I say Christmas then, crispness in the shooting, and um, you know, quick aim down the sights, uh, slight auto aim. We all know how that feels. Everybody's pretty much played this game, so that's still there. But um, it certainly has an element of Unreal Tournament to it now, and an element of uh, obviously Titanfall with these uh, double jumping, jetpacking soldiers all over the place. Um, first game we played was a team deathmatch, and the first impressions weren't great. Not helped by the fact that I'm pretty sure uh, there is an a there were actual professional Call of Duty players on the other team, and I'm not talking about those annoying kids who are really good. I mean professional players. Uh, they were getting like. 40 kills and two deaths or so it was just I didn't even know what was happening that's not a good first impression for anything because yeah. I'm not brilliant at this game at the best of times and that was just uh, murderous but during the uh, the second event I went to it was just more uh, regular folk so um, it was a much more enjoyable time and uh, played team deathmatch again first time there and, and, and enjoyed it myself the the kind of leveling up system and the gun in you know, the 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 picking all, all your loadouts and stuff is is absolutely enormous and incredibly complicated this year. There's, you know, they had the pick ten system in one of them where you could pick Black ten. Ops two, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now it's pick thirteen, so you can uh, modify your kill streaks in that, and you can even choose to not have kill streaks. Um, and then there's a, all these guns, um, but there's also you get like. Uh, supply. You do some stuff in matches, and you like win crates, and you go back in between uh, matches, and you open the crate, and you get random loot, and some of that would be like gun attachments or like rare stuff. It's it, it's 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 it fucking just boggles the mind how much there is in there. Um, it's going to make uh, all that stuff. It's really good. Like um, what what they've included, they've kind of got that. Typical Call of Duty leveling up, unlocks. You always feel like you're you're earning something. You always feel like you've got a new toy to play with. Plus, had a real Destiny feel to it. It's like, oh, what's this? What's this? What have I got? Have you got this? Have you seen this type of thing? Mm. So, um, a real nice combination there. That's gonna people are gonna love it. You know, the COD, the fan base can absolutely love all this. Um, it was a bit much for a for an event where you just have, you're having a couple of games, obviously. But it did seem very cool and a really really neat feature that they put in it actually. When you're just um, having a look at what gun you're going to pick. You can just hit start and it will instantly load you into a shooting range with that gun. Um, so you can just uh, do some target practice. Um, really nice feature. I expect to see that appearing in a lot of shooters. Um, yeah, just instantly loading and instantly loading out of it. Uh, lovely feature. But I guess the most interesting thing to talk about is how the game plays when you've got this uh, these exosuits. And it takes a while to get used to because the dash is on the left stick. It's a click of the left stick. So it's not like in Titanfall where you press double A when you're in the Titan to, to slide left and right. You need to click and uh, the, for the first few games I just wasn't getting it at all, it just didn't seem to be working. Um, it's something that's going to take a while to get used to uh, and it definitely works better when you do it in mid-air I find. So after a while I was getting to the point where I was double jumping then dashing right to kind of um, go to a new piece of geometry or, or, or the, the top of a building. The more you play, the more you're going to be able to do that really well. And I also like the idea that if you're being shot by someone, you have a chance 
even if you're not aiming at them, to quickly dash out of the way and, and, and save your own life. One of the things that I love about Titanfall is that even if you get caught from behind, you've always got a chance of like hitting the stim button if you if you mm. have that equipment and getting away or uh, doing some clever wall running and stuff. And it feel uh, Call of Duty needed something like this, I think, because yeah. it was getting stale as much as people love it. And it doesn't have the free flowing relentless pace of Titanfall, right? It just doesn't. It doesn't feel anywhere near as good as Titanfall feels, but it does feel pretty pretty cool in its own way. And COD is still it's still good, you know, it's always gonna be shooting someone in COD is still always gonna be fun. It just is. So it definitely had that going for it. Um Team Deathmatch was Team Deathmatch. They brought back hard point. A lot of people in the audience when they said that were really happy. I was just like, I don't don't care, it's just let's just talk about something else. But they have put this new mode in there, which is really fucking cool. It's called Uplink. And it's basically like a sport. Um, there are two uh, spherical goals at either end of the map. And the idea is you basically um, the teams have to pick up this thing, which is basically an oddball from Halo. It's called like a yeah. satellite uplink or something. I don't know, did you see it in the trailer? I didn't. No, no, I haven't seen the trailer, but I, I think they had a similar mode in Ghosts. I, I think they had it. It was named after a, a, some kind of uh, American football terminology, but I'm pretty sure there was something like that in Ghosts that we played. Uh, did it have a ball that you could pass to the other players? <sighs> I don't know. I think once you dropped it, that was it. I don't know if you could pass it. Yeah, this is. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were talking about it as if it was completely new. So okay, yeah. okay. Um, so you basically pick up an odd ball, and at that point, you can't. You can melee. It's the same. You can melee with it, but you can't. Uh, you can't fire. Um, if you throw it through the opposition goal, you get one point. If you jump, double jump through it with it in your hands, you get two points. But uh, you can press the right trigger to throw it, or you can press the left trigger to pass it. So it's like passing; it's an actual um, integral part of the game. And also, you can do this cool thing where if someone jumps out at you and they're about to shoot you, you can pass it to them. They automatically catch it, lose their weapon, you can shoot them and keep going. So huh. yeah, nailing that is pretty satisfying. And suddenly, yeah. if it, someone does it to you, you're like motherfucker, because suddenly you've got this ball in your hand. And uh, yeah, it's, it's it's a cool little thing. Whether that turns into a, like an exploit going forward, I don't know. But um, this mode's great, quite frankly. It's a combat. It, you've got the COD shooting, still a lot of lot of blasting people, getting a lot of kills, but. Um, constantly focused around getting this ball using teamwork and scoring points a really really fun mode really inventive mode um i was very impressed by that i thought that was the coolest thing in the game definitely so far from what i played um we'd like to see more stuff like that appearing in other shooters i'd love to see some sort of sport type thing invented for titanfall down the road so that that was cool and you could tell I mean, one thing you could tell with the guys from sledgehammer up on the stage and uh, i've met glenn schofield from sledgehammer before he's the guy who was um on the first dead space sounds a bit like uh, Bender or Marcus Phoenix um, and he's a really cool guy he's very very smart but kind of very passionate and uh, laid back and funny he looks a bit like a like a retired wrestler and um, you could tell these guys this has been a three year development cycle and you can tell them, I mean they really really give a shit They're, they want to to bring this game back to where they think it should be Personally, from what I played, it didn't do for me what Titanfall does, but at the same time, it was certainly was the most fun I've had playing COD in a while, and I actually saw myself playing it as opposed to recently when it's just like, I'm not doing this again, I'm not good enough at it, it's too annoying to play people who are just camping in corners. It did seem like there was not going to be a lot of camping as well, because there's also like, um, you, you, there's stuff like the, the little character abilities like from Titanfall, so... One of them is the ability to hover, another one's like a, st I think it's even called a stim, where you can boost your health. Um, there was a few a few more, like one where you can instantly generate a uh, like a plasma shield in front of you and then put it down. Um, so there's loads of, there's going to be a lot of variety to it. And it was cool, I mean, they've come in and basically really shaken up one of the most entrenched and established and risky to fuck with franchises that there are and they, they, they've come and done it you know they really have does it feel as nice as wall running double jumping time form no but i think fair play that they've come and, and, and you know they're really trying to to shake it up and it does seem to have worked so yeah i'm pumped to play more but you know i think i can't just compare everything to Titanfall forever because that game is something else but good on them for trying that sounded really um, patronising. Patronising. Like, yeah, yeah. Didn't mean it to. Like, you know, fair play. I I'll definitely be playing some COD this year. 
Um, is it? I mean, uh, the, I mean, it's great that they're experimenting because the last time they did it was Black Ops Two, and that was the best COD in a couple of years. Um, uh, so it's only really Ghost that's standing in between this. And yeah, that. True. I know. I, I know they've spoken about the three-year development cycle and said, you know, if anyone suggested that this is a response to Titanfall, they said, "Oh, we were developing this three years ago. Mm. You know, go fuck yourself." But does it feel like a response? Some to of Titanfall? it does, but I don't know how long they've had this stuff in there. Um, you know the the movement stuff. You, you you can't know, but yeah, some of it does certainly like the character abilities and things. But then again, some of the the the, the lateral dashes and things like that were in Unreal Tournament years ago. So yeah, yeah, right. There's definitely elements of that as well. Um, it to give him the benefit of the doubt, it really feels like they've just gone. What does this game need to be yeah. to be more organic, to feel better, to not just feel like the same steady Call of Duty game that you've been playing since 2005 or whatever uh, and yeah it, it definitely feels different it's good I was talk, talking to like some of the, the YouTubers and stuff who are there who, who just do COD and they're, they're excited about it they're kind of wary of, of how different it feels to play but like I said it's still you can run into a room snap the snap your sight to someone's head duh, 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 get that it's still, it's still that it's still Call of Duty so yeah pleasantly surprised and enjoyed it. But well, the, the the second session, the first session was a nightmare. But that yeah, was the, a, yeah, a game's fault. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it does seem strange to me that they've made the upgrade system so complicated, especially when one of the great things about Titanfall that it was it was so simple. Um, so that's a strange it's, direction to go. It's only complicated because there's so much to it. But it, if you've played the last few Call of Duties, ninety percent of it is the same, oh, okay. uh, with a few little tweaks for that side of things, and then. Basically, like you'll, you'll say, you got a supply drop. You go back after the match. You press a button. A crate opens, and it goes. You got these three things. Two of them will be like one will be like a new pair of boots. Another will be a new hat because it has um, player customization, like uh, cosmetic customization in it this year. And another one will be like um, a gun that, yeah, like maybe a different coloured version of the gun or slightly different stats or something. Um, I wouldn't say it was complicated to the point that I didn't know what I was doing because I did. It was just too much to try and really experiment with on uh, in that type of situation, that type of event type of situation. Of but the, yeah. the big shout again for the um, the firing range. It really is a great idea when you want to see what your new guns like. Great idea. It sounds like they're trying to put microtransactions. In. Yeah, just as I was saying that, then I was like, oh, maybe, but um, I don't know. We shall see. I I'd be surprised because. They've always been kind of anti that, that Activision. 